I traveled to a ranch just outside Leonard, Montana to attempt the Crazy Mountain 100 miler. As the name suggests, this race takes place in the Crazy Mountain Range. It is a point-to-point -point race that features more than 22,000 feet of vertical gain. Runners have to climb to and cross four major mountain passes, two of them which are at 10,000 feet. The average altitude of this race is nearly 9,000 feet. It means there's a good chance that I'll be affected by the altitude as I live at 700 feet. So my only goal was to finish. If you enjoyed this and any of my other videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It lets me know people are actually watching this stuff. It also makes it easier for other like-minded folks to find my content. Cold this morning, but it's supposed to warm up pretty quickly, so we'll see. Tobias, how are you feeling this morning? Feeling great. Good, good. It's warm. <laughs> Didn't he just win Big Horn? Yeah. yeah. You're greedy. How's You're greedy. Yeah. <laughs> good ride. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Today is a good day. These mountains are sacred to us. My name is Levi Black Eagle. I'm a member of the Crow Tribe of Indians. Our last great chief, Chief Plenty Coos, was nine years old and he went to Crazy Peak. And there he had his vision of the future for our people. We want to know that we're going there with respect and we need no harm to anybody. And we ask that we all make it there back and safe. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! All right. All right, guys. We'll get in it. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. miles in it's kind of a rolling uphill on single track I think we're going to continue like this for a while first aid station is somewhere between six and seven miles so far so good
just got surprised <laughs> coming up on the first aid station porcupine filled up one bottle with 200 calories I'd finished one bottle with 200 calories over the first hour 25 and now we got a half marathon to Ibex and I'm carrying noon electrolytes in a liter hydration bag as well as 200 calories in a bottle There was a bit of a conga line a minute ago so I tried to push through the aid fast so I can run my own rhythm I'm not it says nothing to do with speed it's all about being able to run your rhythm and that's hard to do when you're in the middle of a conga line so I think I was able to kind of break out of that and settle into my rhythm What a beautiful place though. Just ate it on a nice little narrow single track section. I keep clipping rocks. But I guess I'm gonna start popping some mess caps. Not really hot. I feel like I'm not lifting my feet. about nine miles in, 10 miles to go to the next aid. Feeling good so far. Took a spill a minute ago, but no harm done, but bear spray popped out of my vest. Thankfully the runner behind me saw it and picked it up because bear spray does you no good when it's laying in the middle of the trail miles behind you. update 13 and a half miles feeling pretty good still <laughs>
follow update almost 18 miles and uh, feeling good especially on the descents nutrition 250 calories an hour so far I'm gonna try to maintain that and depending on what they have at the aid stations maybe supplement that with some other goodies but so far so good I gotta refill my hydration bladder it's gonna take a bit of time but I think I prefer that having fluids readily available rather than having to filter and deal with that at least for this race so, anyway beautiful shaded section right here a little bit up and we're gonna go down again a little bit up and then we should be reaching the heat station Rolling into mile 19.28 station, four hours, 17 minutes, Ibex 8 station. I've got a drop back here, get nutrition, fill up water, and apply maybe some sunscreen and box spray. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Nice work. I was wondering when I'd see you. Keep it easy, yeah. Let's go. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Drop bags. Sorry. We are at mile almost 24. I'm very late for my five hour update. It's five hours, 40 minutes. Work has begun. It's no longer easy cruising, at least not right now. I think we're doing the first of the four big climbs in this race. Still feeling good though, still eating, drinking. Bumped into this guy. And Andrew, who some of you probably know, and uh, we're just working our way up this climb. The sun is finally showing its face, so it is getting warmer, but it's not 90s, so I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to keep working. Yeah. I'm going to put some on my buff. Six hour update, perfect timing. Cause we just popped out on this meadow and it is just beautiful. I mean, just spectacular. Let's check this out. Huh? Just amazing. Amazing. A nice breeze. It's getting a bit hot on this climb. We're 25 miles in, six hours. <laughs> Not too shabby. I know I'm gonna be slowing down sooner or later, but right now I'm moving. So I'm gonna to try to stay on top of nutrition and fluids and see what the day brings. So far, so good. I have a pretty good idea we're gonna go up that saddle there. It's so pretty. Alright. Made it up to the ridge line. And we're gonna be going up, up, up. All the way to that hump to the right there. Hey, thank you. Whoa! There's still snow down there. 
Hell yeah! Amazing! Absolutely spectacular. We came from down there all the way up that valley. First of four big climbs done, and now, hopefully for the fun part, of descending. So camera's gonna get put up, gonna get a drink, and then get to work. Look at this, just beautiful. Coming down from 10,000 feet. First of the four bit climbs. It was no joke either. Slow grind. That's what it takes to get it done. Just keep moving. Deal with the low points when they come. Look at this. Came from up there. Down hit the lake now. Just amazing. Just amazing. It is about eight hours, 15 minutes in, 31 and a half miles. Um, so we've got an 11, 11 and a half mile section now, up the pass and back uh, and down on the other side. Major aid station, drop back, fuel, and then we come back. So the two big climbs in the middle of the race are the same one. We're just doing it from both sides. So I just realized that. Right now, taking my time. Most people would be running this right now, but kind of ate a lot and drank a lot to kind of catch up a little bit. Let my stomach settle. <clears throat> and this is a long, slow grind. Five and a half miles, I think 3,500 feet of climb somewhere around that if I was listening correctly so anyway I can try to make the time up on the back side from the descent but I'm definitely not gonna hammer that up it is beautiful but I have a bad feeling <laughs> that we're going <coughs> in between those mountains straight up the middle over a pass and then down on the other side and then we come back 
So, that should be interesting. Not sure if we're going to hang a left or hang a right, so let's see. But I'm going to just try to keep it steady and keep moving steadily and see what happens. All right. Beautiful little section here as we're climbing. Nine hour update. Um, almost 35 miles. I'm on a struggle bus right now, trying to just steadily climb. Took some more nutrition and fluids. Just trying to take it easy. Pretty technical climb. Pretty sure it's gonna be a technical descent. And then we're coming back over. So it's gonna be a tough 22, 23 miles. So I just gotta grind it out. Try to get as much of that done before dark. Look at that. Look at this. Just beautiful. Gotta watch my footing. Oof. Yep. So, moving slowly but steadily, so we'll keep that going. And just enjoy the beautiful landscape. down the mountain. Let's look at these flowers. Just beautiful. Of course I gotta watch my step. <laughs> it's pretty freaking technical. But just beautiful. Every time you hit like a little meadow, it's just so many colors and then you come around the bend <laughs> and you're looking at the crazies crazy mountain range I don't think I did an 11 hour update just under 41 miles um, two miles up from the aid station so I just gotta keep working Put on some clean clothes. Nice, nice work. work. And uh, keep moving to keep the flies off me. And then maybe put on a long sleeve shirt before the return trip. And get some food and soda, just calories. A little bit of a reset, but I can't sit down because that Achilles. When I sat down in, on the pass, 
before we descend it. When I got up, oh my God, it was screaming at me. So I think I'm just gonna just keep standing and take care of my stuff and hope that it keeps it together. It's been a while since I've done an update. I left the 43 mile aid station an hour ago, 12 and a half hours into the race. I've been struggling. Achilles is killing me and I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm gonna keep moving. I wanna be walking. <coughs> this entire 3500 foot climb over seven miles across the pass and see if I can jog some on the downside and just see what the clock says right now I still have plenty of time but I will have to do some running and the descents are pretty technical as well. So we'll see. I'm still in it. I'm not gonna get down on myself. I'm gonna try to just keep chugging along and uh, give another update later. All right, I just crested the summit. I mean, the pass for the second time, this was the third of four major climbs and the fourth of six total climbs. Uh, I don't know if I want to mention it, but my left Achilles is swollen pretty bad and I'm just gonna have to see if I can make it. I'm just gonna work my way from one aid station to the next and see if I can stay out of cutoffs. It's, it's painful and slow. Anyway, more about that later. Good morning. 24 hour update. 68 miles in. Um, I was going to pull the plug earlier because of some serious Achilles issues, but I took some Tylenol and that helped. And I'm going to try to, after six hours, take some more here at the next aid station. I've got another three miles to go. Um, rough day, but I haven't quit yet, so plan is to keep moving. Here we go again, chasing cutoffs. I just left the aid station, got a couple of breakfast sandwiches, a cup of tea that I didn't drink because I didn't want to spend any more time than necessary 30 minutes I had a cut off here I got to get them get a move on um, it's tough I took a couple of Tylenol and to ho help with my Achilles and my feet and my knee I'm hoping that'll kick in here in a few minutes and <clears throat> hopefully that'll allow me to move better along with the calories I just took in so Time to get moving. All right, 26.45 hour check-in, 75 miles. We got an hour and a half to cover three and a half miles to make the cutoff at this next aid station. So, oh, man, I'm tired and I'm hurting. Here we go. Oh, oh, shit. Last climb of the race. We just started. Just under a thousand feet. After it's the shortest, I guess, but <laughs> battling cutoffs. And the cutoff times are based on even splits and flat terrain so 
Yeah, we'll see how this turns out. 29 hours, 45 minutes. I am toast. Most flies been eating me. This breeze is barely containing me with flies in. It's awful. So this part sucks. Yeah. We've been doing fall summit after fall summit for the last 5,000 miles. It's terrible. We are both ready, ready to be done, quite frankly. And now, supposedly, all that's left is 13 miles of descending with an aid station sandwiched in between. <laughs> We're riding the cutoffs, as they say, but confident that we won't be able to make it. So, on that note, it's time to cover. This is the stuff my feet love. Insert sarcasm here. Just left the last aid station. And now I've got seven miles to go. Two hours, 20 minutes to get it done. And, uh... I'm gonna try to do some running in there. Just took a couple of Tylenol. I'm gonna give it about 15 minutes to kick in and then hopefully it'll take the edge off the whole Achilles IT band blister fiasco. All right, home stretch. Just over 5K to go. I'm tired. So I'm gonna take a little walk break then try to run it into the finish. I'm not sure if it's two or three miles, we'll see. All right, I'm finally back at the Berg Ranch. The camping and post-race party spot and the finish line for the Crazy Mountain 100. All right. That was a uh, difficult, <clears throat> to say the least. <clears throat> I gotta say, I don't normally <clears throat> take medication during a race ever, but that Tylenol really helped me move. And initially, you know, I take the sting out of the, um, the uh, Achilles pain. And initially I was just gonna self-evacuate, self-extract, because <clears throat> I had the issues when I came into a, um, an aid station that was brought in by horseback. So when I got to the next aid station, I was like, maybe I should try to finish this thing. So here we are, a um, few minutes left, maybe a quarter mile, get this done. Here we go. To the finish line. Let's finish this out. I'm trying not to roll an ankle. Guess this way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 